what we found in a very indirect way. As you get closer and closer to the expression of innate intelligence through your, through your nervous system, through your body, and I say, that's my definition of health. That my definition of health is the expression of coherent energy through your nervous system. And as you get closer and closer to innate, it tends to be more and more love. You tend to feel more elevated in your heart. And, and when, once energy makes it to the heart, our research says it goes two ways. First way, straight to the brain. That's because we see it on functional brain scans every time. The second thing that happens is the heart becomes orderly. It begins to emit a field that can be measured that's magnetic up to three meters wide. Now, the, the, the body is connected. It's not feeling separate. It's feeling very connected. And when you feel that emotion, you would never look for your future. Why would you look for your future if you feel like it's already happening? There's no place to look. You're not separated from it. Now, something kind of phenomenological happens that's really weird. Because when we create things from matter to matter, we got to drag our body through space and go get it. And we're going to estimate how long it's going to take, two years, five years, to buy the house, the car, the boat, whatever. That's matter trying to influence matter. And when it doesn't work, you force outcomes, you control outcomes, you manipulate outcomes, you fight for them, you compete for them, because that's what you do when you're matter uh, trying to affect matter. But once energy makes it to the heart and the body's emitting a feel, and the heart makes you feel connected, the brain becomes more creative, it goes into alpha states. Now, all of a sudden, you have a Wi-Fi signal. The brain's coherent, the heart's coherent, and now the inverse is true. Now you start seeing synchronicities, coincidences, opportunities coming to you. Like you're not going anywhere to get them, you're the magnet. And so, so then doing the work, people come for to heal, they come for uh, wealth, they come for new relationships, they come for a new life, but really what they're coming for is wholeness. Yeah. So, then, so then what we see is when people start to connect, there is a tremendous release of oxytocin in the brain and body. And oxytocin is the love chemical. But now, it's not coming from a relationship. It's coming from your relationship with innate. It's coming with your relationship with a future vision that you're falling in love, bonding with your future, just like you would bond and fall in love with somebody else. Now, oxytocin signals nitric oxide. And nitric oxide signals a chemical called endothelial derived relaxing factor. And what does that do? It signals the vessels in the heart and the lungs to actually expand. Now, here comes a lot of blood flow, a lot of energy right into your heart, and you're going to physiologically feel your heart feeling full. And now, when that happens, all of a sudden, there's only one thing you want to do. And that's give, because you feel so amazing, you go from the selfish state of the stress hormones to a selfless state. And what you're saying really is, I just want you to feel the way I feel. And the only way that I can express how I feel is to give to you. Now, that's what love does, right? That's what gratitude does. We, we did an experiment. We took 120 people. We measured their cortisol levels and we measured their IgA levels. Immunoglobulin A, your body's primary defense against bacteria and viruses, it is better than any flu shot. It is the body's innate flu shot. Turns out as cortisone levels, cortisol levels go up, the immune system goes down. Why? Throwing out all this energy for some threat in your outer environment, no energy in your inner environment for growth and repair. So the immune system down regulates. So we said, okay, we measured the cortisol levels, we measured their IgA levels. We said for four days, let's get heart centered. We'll put a, we'll put a heart rate monitor on you. We'll measure when you're coherent. And let's get you into feeling gratitude. Now, the emotional signature of gratitude, when you're receiving something, when you just receive something that's favorable, when something amazing is happening to you or something surprising or amazing just happened to you, you feel gratitude and you say, I thank you, thank you. So the emotional signature of gratitude means something just happened, right. something favorable just happened. Now, your body's so objective that when you feel gratitude, it can't tell the difference between something that you're getting from your outer world or just the, by fabricating it by thought alone. So then when the body moves into that elevated state of emotion, it switches down the sympathetic nervous system. Here comes the parasympathetic nervous system, and now there's energy for growth and repair. So... In four days, IGA, le IGA levels went up 50% just by feeling gratitude. Now, the worst thing that could happen to you by being grateful for things in your life or things that are going to happen in your life is that you're going to heal. That's the worst thing that could happen to you. So, so 
Researchers that study my work, they say, listen, your oxytocin levels on your students are really high in four days or seven days. I mean, oxytocin levels are normally high when female mammals are bonding with their offspring or you're in that honeymoon stage of relationship and it creates monogamy and connection and bonding and that's really the way it should be. But now they're saying to me, what are you doing at your events? I mean, well, I said, because um, I want them to be in love with their future, just like they're in love with somebody else and, and you're bonded to that future and no person, no circumstance, no condition in your environment is going to remove you from it and that's when people practice this, the, the cool thing about it is that once they understand the formula and they, 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 know, they know how to do it, it's not like, oh, God, I got to go meditate today on creating a new life. It's not like that. They're like, they're up and they want to go. Why? Because they don't want the magic to end. They don't want those synchronicities to end. And now, now the universal intelligence that is that quantum field, that is that unifying field, that is source, it is singularity, it's the zero point field. That is when you are, you are, you are, you are, if you are connected to source or universal intelligence, why would you go anywhere to get anything? Right. You wouldn't have to. So then I'm always amazed with chiropractors because they talk innate intelligence. They talk about it, but they make very little effort to connect with it. And I'm telling you, when you have that arousal and you experience it, you're going to know that it's absolutely real and you will speak with a different level of authority. Uh, and removing subluxations in the nervous system allows the expression of that intelligence and teaching people how to stay resilient emotionally. I describe reality as past present reality and future present reality. So when you combine a clear intention, coherent brain, with an elevated emotion, a coherent heart, when you are, the stronger the emotion you feel for your future, the more altered you are inside of you, the more you're going to pay attention to the picture in your mind and you're going to begin to emboss that circuitry. You're going to start remembering your future. Why? Because the stronger the emotion you feel from some event in your past, the more altered you feel inside of you, the more you narrow your focus on the cause and the brain freezes a frame and takes a snapshot. And that's called a long-term memory. So then when a person starts combining that clear intention with an elevated emotion and they're truly in the present moment and they're not distracted by anything in their environment, they're not distracted by the emotions of the past or the habits of the future, they're not trying to predict the future of the past or in the present moment. If thoughts are the vocabulary of the brain and feelings are the vocabulary of your body and how you think and how you feel creates your state of being, then that person, when they feel the emotion of their future, and they're paying attention to their intention. They are in that future, in the present moment. And right. in the present moment is where things begin to happen. Yeah. So then it works really great in the meditation, but the, the game changes when you open your eyes and you come back to your senses. And if you say to me, hey, I was doing really great, then 12 o'clock I had this text from my brother or my cousin or whatever, and I'm upset. Then I say to you, oh my God, you're back to the unconscious program of being a victim in your environment. So then when you can open your eyes and become so familiar with those states of mind and body, that as long as you feel the emotion of your future, or better yet, as long as there's a vibrational match between the energy of who you are in your future, you're going to see feedback in your environment. So, so the person's experiencing the future in the present moment when they do it properly. Then when they get up, if they've done it enough times, no person, no circumstance, no thing, no condition in their environment will be in the way because they're not creating matter to matter. They're creating from the field. And Einstein said, the field is the governing agency of the particle. And it's not matter that's emitting a field. That's the illusion. It's the field that's creating matter. Change the field to change matter. And just getting to that point where you can dissociate from your body from the people in your life, from yourself, from the things you own, the place you need to be, the place you sleep, the place you work, your clinic, where it is. And time itself causes your consciousness to begin to merge with the consciousness of the unified or of universal intelligence. And now, now all of a sudden things start happening for you. And it just kind of gets a little bit exciting because you start realizing that you may have had the game all wrong from the start. So yeah, absolutely. It is the future.